welcome back to another video. And this week I kind of tried out a new gym. I went with a gym with one of my friends. I haven't worked out with him in a while. And it was called EOS Gym, EOS Gym. Also if I'm talking a little weird is because I have these Invisaligns in my first week and they hurt right now and I'm not used to talking with them yet. I have to wear them for three months, but I guess it's gonna be worth it in the end. But anyway, about EOS Gym. This is like a new gym that's opening around California. You guys didn't know I'm from California. Um, I think it has the same like subject or it's pretty much the same same as all the other commercial gyms and i have a few thoughts on what my view of commercial gyms are like the gym i go to regularly is like a private gym 70 bucks a month is pretty expensive but i think it's worth it and i'm gonna just kind of just go over why i think my gym is worth it versus commercial gyms but ultimately it's gyms are supposed to be the best fit for you like if you can't afford seven dollars a month just it's better to have the ten dollars a month like the planet fitness um but this is, this is just some reasons that i would pick the gyms on my thoughts so i started my shoulders and arm workout with the shoulder press and here's the first thing to look at when you look into commercial gyms kind of like the equipment now i am using 70s here and one thing that i know is they're not all gyms have 70 dumbbells so you gotta look to see if they have the equipment you want because like i've only been going to the gym for like since march so if, when i do get stronger 70s are not might not be enough for me and i know planet fitness caps out usually in seven days so that's already off the gate i'm not going to choose planet fitness and yeah after that i kind of moved on to the lateral raises that 25 is fine so i just did that um but yeah you gotta look into that that's why it's important to always take a tour of your gym before you go in there you always ask for the tour before you sign up because you want to see what they have now that's the main reason why i want to choose planet fitness because um they don't have free weights and i do bench squats deadlifts all the time and i need free weights so far, this gym has all the equipment I need. So it already checks that, that spot. So EOS is good. So I recommend EOS if you need all the equipment. And here we have the rear um, lateral raises. Didn't have no issue there. But again, always check for the equipment they have because not all gyms have, you know, free weights or dumbbells that go even that high. And that, that's why I already disqualified Planet Fitness for me. Now the next exercises I did for my shoulders for the front is the front lateral raise. And after that, I'm going to do the face pose. But another thing you want to look at when looking at commercial gyms is the amenities where they have pools, you have like a basketball court, they have like classes or like daycares. You know, the, the classes and stuff like that, just think about that. That's something you don't have to pay extra for. You know, like if you try to get a class individually from somewhere else, you have to pay extra. So Slower. if it's if it's already included in the membership, then that's something you should look at. And if you're looking to do those classes, especially if you're a beginner, if you don't know where to start or if you want to try new things, you should do that. So EOS, I'm not sure if they offer any classes, but when I was there, I did like a whole talk to the salesman guy and he didn't he didn't mention it. So I think that's something the EOS kind of lacks in, but let me know in the comments. Now I'm moving on with my arm workout, I'll do cable curls, but I just want to mention one thing before moving forward, is the environment in the gym plays a big role whether you choose the commercial gym or not. And like, if you listen to the background, you can hear like this song playing, and I do not like this song whatsoever. Like my music taste isn't that good, so if you guys could give me some gym music, please let me know in the comments, but if you could listen to the background, how am I supposed to hit a PR if this is playing? Now, of course, that's up to the people in the front of the gym. But I don't know who they had in the front of the gym who picked this song. But you, you need to change it right now. And, and that's coming for me, someone who's like very tolerant of music. So, you know, people are not going to work out to this. But again, you can just fix it if you bring your own AirPods. But I was working out with my friend, so I didn't bring my AirPods. Because, you know, I want to talk to him while I'm, while I'm working out. But yeah, you, this, this song is to change. But I did the cable curls, and after that, I did some hammer curls. These burned my arms out a lot. I was only able to do six. But then again, environment in the gym plays a big role. 
And just a reminder, I really want to hear what kind of songs you guys listen to while working out. So please send me a list or email me on Instagram because my my playlist is getting kind of old. And I really want to expand my music, you know, musical knowledge. Now, after that, I moved on to barber curls. And I kind of just had the regular barber. I'll just add a 10 on the side and curling them. But moving on to the next reason why what you should consider when looking into a commercial gym is the price. Now, I think the lowest gyms, the lowest price right now would be EOS, this one. It's only $10 a month to the lowest tier. Then Planet Fitness, also $10 and maybe Blink. Blink, EOS, and Planet Fitness. Now, the thing about EOS is that they don't have that many locations. But from those three, I'll say EOS is the best because Planet Fitness has to be on the bottom because they don't have free weights. And then Blink, Blink, Blink and EOS are probably the same. I don't know what amenities they have. Also, I'm doing tricep here, um, skull crushers for the tricep. But yeah, if you were to choose from cheaper gyms, you gotta pick either Blink or EOS because they have the free weights. But if you think about it, because the price is so low, so many people are gonna be, be there. So bring me to my next issue. Also, these are tricep cable extensions. If the gym is overcrowded this gym eos i went at 12 o'clock that's usually not a busy time but then again it was a summer and this gym is close to a college so i know a whole bunch of college students are going to start going there and that's the main reason why i do not choose these cheaper commercial gyms it's because they're always crowded and that's what i hate the most about going to the gym when i want to do a workout and my machine is being used and I have to do something else. And when I went to this gym, I had to do that multiple times. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of go to my $70 a month private gym, well, privately owned gym, because I know that it's not going to be as crowded because people are not going to pay that much, you know? And I'm willing to pay that much. So when I go to the gym, I can use the machine that I wanted to use, you know? And I know that sometimes where it was crowded in my gym, like if you, if you go to my gym at like between five to like eight, that's when it's crowded the most. And that's why I always stop going to those type of gyms. And that's another thing I look at. You got to make sure uh, when they're open. Um, your gym has to be open 24 hours for me to consider it. Because there's sometimes where I take a nap and I wake up at like at 10 o'clock and that's when gyms are closed and I just go like at 1030. So just a recap. Number one. Make sure you look at the equipment. Number two, make sure you look at the amenities. Um, number three, make sure the environment. Number four, the price for sure. The last one, the hours of operation. And also don't forget to see if the gym is crowded because I hate crowded gyms no matter what. Yeah, so see you in the next one.